and this is the astrological forecast for Aquarius from mid-August through to the end of the year. It's the sun sign forecast only folks, it's a generalised forecast. If you want a proper forecast for you as an individual, you'd have to come to me or come to me through my website, you know how to get a hold of me. Aquarius, folks, it's been a pretty crazy year. Um, not for all of you, admittedly, but for many of you. Let's have a look, first of all, at what's not happening. Firstly, Pluto is not touching you. Pluto's in Capricorn, the sign next door to you. He's not looking your way at all. So there's nothing going on behind the scenes. You're not being targeted or shafted. There's no manipulation or power struggles. And you don't seem to be sabotaging yourself or shooting yourself in the foot. Psychologically, most of you seem pretty clean. Neurotically also, because Neptune is also in the other sign next door to you, that of Pisces. And Neptune isn't touching you either. So there appears to be no sign of neuroses or gullibility or escapism or avoidance. But the other things that are going on, some of them are really difficult. A few of them are good. Um, it is the once every year Aquarius full moon in a couple of days time, in about a week from now. The actually, it's actually going to be on the 12th of August around about 2.30, 2.40 in the morning UK time. And this full moon is going to be pretty strongly conjunct Saturn and squaring Uranus. So it does seem to me that the more we get into the second week of August, things are going to get pretty difficult, especially for Aquarius and especially for those of you born around the time of um, four, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth of February. If you're one of these people, then just be careful around this full moon of a week from now. Uranus is squaring the sun of a number of you at the moment. If you're one of those Aquarians born on the 4th, 5th, 6th or 7th of February, Uranus is squaring your sun right now. Now Aquarius, I know it's ruled by Uranus and Uranus rules change, but Aquarius isn't actually that flexible when it comes to change. So it seems to me that with Uranus squaring the sun for those individuals born in the first week of February, change is happening and you either dance with it or you get turned over. You either the puppet on other people's strings or the, or the puppeteer of your own life because change is happening. It's not all of you, as I say, mainly the 4th through to the 7th or 8th of February. But if you're one of these people, then it can be disruption, chaos, drama, sudden unpredictable changes that pull the rug from underneath your feet, bringing chaos and disorder, upsetting the apple cart. It can equally be innovation, originality, novelty, freedom, uniqueness with words like independence, freedom and liberty. It's up to you. But without change, you get entropy, which leads to decay. Change is a necessity to keep self stimulated and alive. Saturn is in Aquarius. Saturn is now going retrograde in Aquarius. And at the moment, he's impacting on a lot of your lives. If you're one of those Aquarians who's born on the 7th through to the 13th, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13th of February, then Saturn is on top of your sun. Has been since March, will be till at least mid-November and more realistically late January. So if you're one of those Aquarians born in the second week of February, this is a lousy time for growth and expansion. It's a brilliant time for weeding, pruning, streamlining, clearing the decks, letting go of things, people, situations, environments that are past a sell by date and have reached the end of a shelf life, but it's a lousy time for growth and expansion. So let go of things and people. Go through your house, throw away loads of clothes and books and papers. Let go of the load. You'll be glad you did. Jupiter is smiling on a few of you. If you're one of those Aquarians fortunate enough to be born on or before the 29th of January, then the period from now through to really the end of February is seen as a period of window of opportunity. But take your time because the growth and expansion of recent months may have a, a degree of white elephant or larger than life optimism about it. And the period from now through to early November is going to sort the wheat from the chaff. 
this is a time, this next three months, where if you're born in January, then this is where the dreams, visions and ideas either collapse or they turn into blueprint, schedule and plan. But the actions that bring results won't start until at least mid-November and more realistically the start of the year. January and February, however, should be very productive, very creative. Aquarius is one of the more difficult signs to be at the moment. But early next year, Saturn's going to leave your sign. And next year, Saturn and Neptune and Pluto won't be touching you. Uranus will still be hitting a few of you. Jupiter will be being nice. Next year is such a much easier year for you. But let's get you through to the new year. Hang in there, folks.